Take me to Tom's River. Find me some tyrants, some tyrants. Take me to Tom's River so I can find some tyrants, tyrants. What's up, people? I'm pretty sure this is New Jersey police state. This was sent to me through Messenger. And when it's sent through Messenger, it's difficult to uh, figure out what's what, blah, 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 logistical complaints. Um, This is the First Amendment audit. Tom's River Municipal. Okay, Paco. Paco wants me to pet him. He's got these little claw-like nails, man. I got both dogs. Hey, Wilder, I'm about to give your dog a bath. I hope he doesn't bite the living F out of me. To the river. So this is, a. Uh, am pretty sure this is New Jersey police state. I can't figure out how to make this video horizontal. I hope it comes out right. Anyway, this dude's doing a First Amendment audit. Here we go. Township for for me. For you? Yes. Are you making a documentary? Um, it's a new story. A new story? Yeah. You have ID? I always have ID. Okay. Can you provide that? No. Okay. What are you doing? Uh, constitutionally protected activity. Okay. Would you like to surrender your Fourth Amendment? That's what he says right there. First thing out of almost every cop's mouth is, do you have ID, which really means, would you like to surrender your right to privacy? Would you like to surrender your Fourth Amendment rights? Just remember that, people. You can do whatever you want, but as far as, uh, you just need to identify who you are. No, you don't. Yeah, I do. No, you don't. Uh, I do, sir. No, you don't. No, he doesn't. Again, remember, people, in almost every state, unless you're committing some type of crime or illegal act, do not have to ID yourself. And what law is that? Well, it came in as a suspicious person anytime okay. we investigate. First time he asks him the law won't answer, starts with the suspicious person thing, and he rubs his head like, that's, you know, time for me to start cops explaining why I'm allowed to do what I say instead of what the law says. Okay, as to somebody calling it about suspicious, we need to at least identify who it is we spoke to. You're not in trouble in any way, shape, right. or form. Okay, then I don't need to give ID. Well, you do. So he just admits you're not in trouble in any way, shape, or form. So he's not doing anything illegal. He's not about to already or already have done something illegal. So you have no right to ID. Uh, hey, police uh, superiority. Why can't you teach your uh, entry level police that you only have to ID when there's a crime committed? Instead of asking everyone to surrender their Fourth Amendment rights. It's your policy. It's almost every police state uh police department's policy across the country one of their first policies is get people to surrender their fourth amendment right by asking for id and throwing up the little bracket gang symbol what law is that to know who you are what law is that i'm investigating a crime it's actually called obstruction if you fail to provide you just said he's not but you're not investigating a crime so you're making up something that doesn't exist now you're Cops planning some wrong. documentation. No, it's sure, quote, quote that statute. Are you quote obstruction. This? No, apparently you don't. You. Sir, look, I'm not looking. I have to case. commit an unlawful act and prevent you from performing your unlawful duty to be in well, violation of obstruction. Out. Currently, right now. So, what's the unlawful it. act? Right now, it's uh, uh, it came in as a suspicious okay, person. Okay, and, and what statute is this? Yeah, suspicious person. This is cops planning for. I don't have a legal reason to, to stop an ID you. So I'm just going to say suspicious. And they think that when they say suspicious, that equals the legal degree of reasonable, articulable suspicion of an actual crime. And it doesn't. So th this cop's going on uh, hearsay nonsense amongst the, the, the group of cops. Suspicious. It has nothing to do with it. Yes, I'm it does. What's the law? To determine what's going on. So all I'm, I'm taking asking pictures is to identify who you are. 
You're telling me you're doing something. Okay. That's fine, but I need to verify who you are. You so in the event that something turns into something, I at least can say, all right, I went out and I... That's a complete lie. You don't need anything. And that's a, a whole uh, thing of cop-splaining for something you're not allowed to do lawfully. Look at this person. You're making this more difficult than it needs to be. No, you are. Here's the cop. He starts the problem. He asks a million questions that are none of his business to a person not breaking the law. And then he says to you, you're making this harder. Again, that's your rapist mentality. That's your spousal, spousal abuse mentality. You made me give you a black eye. You weren't giving me your ID. You didn't do the dishes when I told you or whatever the case may be. I started this interaction and now I'm barking orders at you. And if you don't do them, you're the one causing the problem. Not really. You can cut out and say, good morning, sir. How are you doing? Taking pictures? Enjoying your First Amendment right to take pictures in public? Well, what, what was the first thing that I said to you today? What are you doing? I said, no. I said, how are you, sir? Okay, how are did you? Did I not say that to you? Yeah, you did. So you just asked me, what did I do? And I already told you what I said. Okay. I said, how are you? And I said, what are we doing? And you told me what you're doing. I said, and that's, that's fine. And I explained to you why I need... And that's it. That's the part you're skipping over. I asked you what you're doing. He told you it's completely lawful. You have no reason no lawful reason to id documentation from you just to verify who you are okay but that's you don't it. Need to verify who i am i unfortunately I have, do yes no, i have the right to pride I unfortunately do no unfortunately for you blue waffle you don't in you, you do to a certain degree yeah okay. and this is it within that degree yes Yes. But, the, but again, if we're investigating it for suspicious because somebody called it in, it's not like we it just doesn't came matter if somebody called it in. Yes, it does. Okay, so if you're outside on your property mowing your lawn and somebody said you're suspicious and the police come by, you have to give them your ID? To verify that you live there? Yeah. That is a lie. This guy is a liar. No, you don't. Yes, it's you your do. Property. Right, well, you're entitled to think whatever you want. I'm entitled okay. to follow the law. Which yeah. is, okay, and again, I'm, if we're investigating this because somebody called it in as a suspicious person, okay. we just need to verify who you are and identify who you are. And what's, what statute? That's a lie. It's suspicious. What law am I breaking? Sir, I'm, again, I'm not, I already went over this with you. I don't need to go and into you have just I don't go by the law. I just go by my own opinion and the things I've been doing unlawfully for years, probably. Find yourself yet? I, I do. And listen, again, if okay. you fail well, to I, provide your documentation, you can be placed under arrest for obstruction. You think so? Oh, I know so. You know so. So I'm going to ask you okay. again. Can you please? Destruction of what? Moron. This is another uh, contempt of cop charge. Obstruction, disorderly conduct, bicycle citations, um, code violations. Those are all contempt of cop charges. Provide your documentation. Okay. Otherwise, you are going to be placed under arrest for obstruction. I do not it's have very... identification. Now, obstruction of what? You're not investigating a crime. You already said he didn't do anything wrong. This is what they got Andre Rocks on, obstruction, and he, and he owned their asses. This cop is a scumbag right here. Tommy. Well, so then you lied to me because when I first asked you if you had a okay. uh, identification on you, you told me, yes, I do. Oh, well, I have fingerprints and retinas. No, that's that's incorrect. I asked you, do you have documentation? Do you have identification? I do you can go back into your video recorder and you can verify. Do you have ID? I always have ID. Okay, can you provide that? Yeah. Okay, so who are you then? So there he lies again. Now he's claiming that the, the cameraman's lying, even though the Supreme Court has ruled that they're allowed to lie all they want. Because we're going to have to verify who you I'm are. You ready? And here's the other problem. Now you lied to me. So now I have a concern as to whether you're being truthful and honest with me. Do you understand? Now I have a concern. Then, so, well, you're not being truthful and honest with me because you haven't quoted a law yet. I don't, I don't need to show sir, you what I did. I already explained to you what I need to supervisor. do. Supervisor. If you fail to, there's actually a supervisor right there. Okay. Okay? And I don't need to have a supervisor anyway because I asked you for who you are. Well, I'm asking for a supervisor. Who you are, and I, told I did not lie about who I, I am. To you. Yeah, and look, he's being surrounded for constitutionally protected activity. The first law on the books is what really is bothering these cops to the point where they want to kidnap and surround this guy. What happens if you fail to provide documentation? Now, if I find out you're lying to me, now you can be charged with hindering. Oh, 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 he's giving failed documentation. Two. Uh, no. I just making up stuff as he goes along. This guy's a real piece of work. This is a blue waffle with blue syrup. Yeah, what's going on, sir? Two? Two? Okay. Guys, what's going on? So, what is your name and what is your information? I'm not answering any questions. Personal information. Okay, well, then you're going to be placed on arrest for obstruction. And what law is that, sir? Now he's uh, threatening to kidnap the guy and throw him in a cage for lawful activity. How does exercising a constitutional right get you surrounded by five cops and almost kidnapped? Sergeant, 
He doesn't need to explain it to you. No, he Frank, does actually. Frank, he Frank, actually Frank, does. Frank, just hold on a second. So let's find out. Can I just ask you what you're doing here? Yes, sir. I'm in okay. public taking pictures of a public building, okay. expressing my First Amendment right to freedom of press. Okay. I'm here to actually file a complaint. Okay. You have that right. You have all those rights. You just, you just Thank mentioned. you. Well, he appears to okay. tell me that I don't. Now, just, just so you know, there are areas of this building that are posted. Absolutely. That are off limits. Yep, like all the right. back of that parking so, lot there. So it's so a restricted have, area. You can't go back there. Those areas or, or, or video those areas. Absolutely. Other than that, if you want to walk around with your camera, you can walk around with your camera. And I don't need to show ID to do that. You don't have to show ID right now. No, sir. Oh. What? You piece of work, bro. You piece of ass. All right, sir. How's that? Well, that's... Uh, look at that stupid... What's the matter, bro? You just got caught lying on video. You're going to be known as the lying blue waffle on YouTube from now on. That's what you are. Uh, uh, actually, in that respect. Oh, is it? Is it? Yeah, so your sergeant's wrong. You so your sergeant's story. wrong? Well, he's even saying his own sergeant is wrong. We're going to. So your sergeant... We're not going to get into an argument here. So we're all set, right? I was just threatened with arrest for not providing identification. It's a violation of Fourth Amendment. All right, sir. But now we're clear on what's going on, right? Is he? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He tried to violate your rights, but now we're okay because I came and saved you. If I wasn't here, you'd be in a cage somewhere with a court date. So we're okay now. I'm not going to arrest my own guy for trying to kidnap you. We're just gonna we're just gonna chalk this one up as oh misunderstanding. Are we all clear? Is he clear? Because I'm clear and you're clear. Sure. Everybody, everybody here is clear, sir. Very good, sir. Right, Thank you. Continue what you're doing. I appreciate your all help. Right. You have a good day. You too. All right. Thank well, you very much. Here, guys. Thank you. All right. Have a nice day, officer. You too, sir. Have a Hope day. you learned something today. All of a sudden, he went to you too, sir. What happened? I'm about to kidnap you. Your own department aren't even on the same page. This is so sad. This is that they give individual discretion like this to cops. How many people's rights has that cop violated? Before this guy had the nuts to come and get it on camera. And there they are, trying to figure out where I parked. I was trying to cop explain to the sergeant why what, what why he wanted to do what he wanted to do. All right, little fellow. Nice boots, bro. We're all set. You guys are good? Frank, you're good? Yes, sir. All right, Jimmy. Yes. By the way, officer, I name and badge number, please? I don't, not right now, sir. Uh, oh, not right now, sir. You don't want an ID, huh? Excuse me, is it in your policy to identify yourself? You, en you engage me. Sergeant, is his policy to identify himself to me? That's, that's Officer Michelle, badge number 369. Good for you. Let me screenshot that. Sergeant Ruiz, badge number 339. Appreciate it. Are those officers, badge numbers and names? Oh, they didn't contact me. That's fine. Okay. All right. I'm Thank you. I appreciate it. Walk of shame. Walk of shame. You're going to listen to me or I'm going to kidnap you. So there you go. Bought her tyrant. Good job, dude. Message me on Messenger, New Jersey S S Police State. I think that's your name. Again, it's hard to keep track. Thanks for watching, everyone. Uh, 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 yeah, just remember the ID thing's a big deal. The ID thing is a big deal. Handing over your ID all nonchalantly to any cop that asks for it. You're surrendering your Fourth Amendment right. Just remember that. If you haven't done anything wrong, you haven't done anything unlawful, you haven't violated, trespassed, damaged any property, victimized anybody, you have a right to privacy. Police hate the idea that you have the right to privacy. And their superiors put pressure on them to ID you. So when they can't ID you, they get all butthurt and they try to escalate violence like this guy. 
So if we all stand our grounds, if we all stand our ground and quit pretending like uh, officers get to just know who you are because they want to, maybe we can get uh, things turned around. Anyway, please like, subscribe, click the join button. I'm trying to do more member-only videos. Um, sweet. Etsy.com, John's Coin Rings, no spaces. No victim, no crime. Thanks for watching, everyone. Bye.